In this video, I present two problems related to the definition of Riemann sums. Let us recall that to define a Riemann sum of a function f over an interval from a to b, we will first decompose that interval from a to b into subintervals. These subintervals do not need to be of equal length but for computation purposes they may be. Let delta of x1 denote the length of the first subinterval, delta of x2 the length of the second, and so forth. A Riemann sum is formed then by selecting tag points tk of the subintervals, so t1 of the first subinterval, t2 of the second, and so forth. So the Riemann sum is of the form summation k from 1 to n, f at tk times delta of xk. In the picture, n is 16. In our computations, we later let n approach the infinity. The term f at tk times delta of xk is the area of the corresponding rectangle of height f at tk over the kth subinterval, assuming that the function takes a positive value at the point tk. If the function takes a negative value at that point, then the corresponding entry in the Riemann sum is negative of the area of the corresponding rectangle. So the blue rectangles in this picture contribute positively to the Riemann sum and the red rectangles negatively. We define definite integrals by these Riemann sums. So we consider the Riemann sum that we just defined, and then we consider all possible decompositions of the interval from A to B into subintervals. And we select such decompositions that eventually the length of the longest subinterval of the decomposition approaches zero. And we take a limit. We see that uh, as the subintervals get finer and finer, that is shorter and shorter, the approximation is uh, close to the area of the blue domain minus the area of the red domain. And uh, in the end, we get the definite integral as the limit. It is integral from a to b f of x dx. And if uh, the function takes only non-negative values on an interval from A to B, then the integral from A to B is the area of the domain bounded by the graph of this function on that interval. If the function takes also negative values, as is the case in the picture on the right, then the integral from A to B f of x dx is the difference of the areas of the blue domains and the red domain. The problems to be considered are form a Riemann sum of the function y equals 2 times x plus 1 corresponding to the division of the interval from 0 to 1 into 5 subintervals of equal length. The second problem is to express the limit as n goes to the infinity of the sums summation k from 1 to n square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared as an integral. Compute this integral by interpreting it as the area of a known figure. The problem is to form a Riemann sum of the function y equals 2 times x plus 1 corresponding to the division of the interval from 0 to 1 into 5 subintervals of equal length. So we have the function y equals 2 times x plus 1. The interval to be considered is the interval from 0 to 1, and we decompose that into n, that is now 5 subintervals. So the division points are first computed. They are 0, 1 over 5, 2 over 5, 3 over 5, 4 over 5, and eventually 1. Each subinterval has the length 1 over 5, that is the length of the interval from 0 to 1, divided by 5. And the general case subinterval 
is the interval from k minus 1 divided by 5 to k, k divided by 5. Then from each subinterval we choose a tag point tk from the case subinterval. And we may choose these freely. Therefore, for computational purposes, we may want to choose something that is easy to compute, either the left endpoint or the right endpoint. And here I have chosen the tag point tk to be the right endpoint of the corresponding subinterval, so tk is k over 5. And then we may form the Riemann sum, summation k from 1 to n, the function f evaluated at tk times delta of x, and this is now summation k from 1 to 5. The function was 2 times x plus 1, so the tag point is k over 5. So we evaluate the function at k over 5, we get 2 times k over 5 plus 1 times the length of the subinterval, which is 1 over 5. So this is a Riemann sum for the function y equals 2 times x plus 1 over the interval from 0 to 1, corresponding to the the composition of this interval into five subintervals of equal length. So the answer is that a Riemann sum of the function y equals 2 times x plus 1 over the interval from 0 to 1 corresponding to the decomposition of that interval into five subintervals and corresponding to the selection of the tag points being the right endpoints of each subinterval then we get the Riemann sum, which is summation k from 1 to 5, 2 times k over 5 plus 1, and that multiplied by 1 over 5. This Riemann sum corresponds to the total area of the blue and red rectangles shown in this picture. The heights of the rectangles are the values of the function at the right endpoint of the corresponding subinterval. The graph of the function is the blue line shown in the picture. The total area of this rec these rectangles is the Riemann sum. Now this Riemann sum can be computed and uh, one gets by easy computation taking first 1 over 25 out as a common factor and then what remains is 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 and this amounts to 11 over 5. So the value of this Riemann sum is 11 over 5. And uh, we may also observe that the area of the yellow domain shown here in this picture, that is the area of the domain under the graph of this function y equals 2 times x plus 1, can easily be computed because it consists of a square of side length 1 and whose area is 1, and of a right angle triangle whose base is of length 1 and whose height is of length 2. So the area of the right angle triangle is base times height divided by 2, that is 2 times 1 divided by 2. So the area of the right angle triangle shown in this picture is also 1. This means that the total area of the domain under the graph of the function y equals 2 times x plus 1 and over the interval from 0 to 1 is 2. And the Riemann sum approximation for this was 11 over 5. 11 over 5 is a little bit over 2. And that is clear that the Riemann sum, sum gives an upper estimate because we chose the tag points to be the right endpoints. And therefore we take over each subinterval a little bit too much area. Now you may choose the tag points differently and then you may get a lower estimate. How would you do that? You may choose tag points still in a different way and get an estimate which is precisely the area of the yellow domain. How would you do that? In this problem we consider sums, summation k from 1 to n, square root of n squared minus k squared and that divided by n squared. And our task is to express the limit of these sums as n goes to the infinity as a definite integral. Then we need to compute this integral by interpreting it as the area of a known figure. 
So the idea here is that we interpret the sum as a Riemann sum. So we look at the sum k, k from 1 to n, square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared, and we try to interpret that as a Riemann sum. Riemann sums are of the form summation k from 1 to n, f at a plus k times delta of x times delta of x, where delta of x is b minus a divided by n. So we try to choose f a and b and delta of x so that we get a sum which looks like summation k from 1 to n, square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared. And to that end, we have to first arrange this term delta of x to be a factor of each term in the sum. So from the denominator where we currently have n squared, we separate 1 over n and we take that out as a factor of the term. So we write square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared as square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n times 1 over n. Now we have our delta of x. This is 1 over n. Then we have to still find the function f and the tag point. So now we had square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n. We write that as square root of the fraction n squared minus k squared and that divided by n squared. So we bring the denominator n under the square root also. And that can be written as square root of 1 minus k divided by n and that squared and this square root multiplied by 1 over n. We take summation k from 1 to n. And this is already a Riemann sum. Summation k from 1 to n square root of 1 minus k over n squared and that square root times 1 over n is a Riemann sum. Our task was to express the sum k from 1 to n square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared as a Riemann sum and then using that to compute the limit as n goes to the infinity of this sum. And we observe that the sum can be written as summation k from 1 to n square root of 1 minus k over n squared times 1 over n. And this is a Riemann sum for the function square root of 1 minus x squared over the interval from 0 to 1, when that interval is decomposed into n subintervals of equal length. This means that the limit as n goes to the infinity is the definite integral from 0 to 1, square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So we have solved the first part of this problem. We have found out that the limit as n goes to the infinity of the sum summation k from 1 to n square root of n squared minus k squared divided by n squared is the integral from 0 to 1 of square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Our second task was to interpret this as the area of a known figure and compute the value of the integral as the area of this known figure. So the graph of the function that we integrate, that is the graph of the function y equals square root of 1 minus x squared, is the unit circle with center at the origin and the upper part of that. It is the blue curve shown in this picture. The different choice of the sine of the square root, that is y equals minus square root of 1 minus x squared, would yield the lower part of the unit circle. Now we have the upper part. And the integral from 0 to 1 square root of 1 minus x squared dx is the area of the yellow sector of the unit disk. And this area of the yellow sector of the unit disk can easily be computed. It is one-fourth of the area of a disk of radius 1. The area of a disk of radius r is pi times r squared, so radius is 1, then the area is, is simply pi, and the value of this integral, that is the area of the yellow domain, is therefore pi over 4.